Hey, what's up lads? Uh, so, it's been a few days since the last video. Pretty much been cooped up in the house. It's been raining every day. Cooped up in the house working like 12 hours a day. Uh, but I just got a call from the workshop that's been working on the Sylvia and it is ready to pick up. They fixed the windshield. They put the new front bumper on that came with the car. It's slightly different from the old one. They haven't got a new bonnet, but they basically smashed the old one back into place so that it stays down for now. And the new bonnet, which is sort of a surprise, um, it's like a cool vented hood one is probably eight to ten weeks away from Japan But we can drive the car today. So we're about to go pick it up. Let's go get the Sylvia. Let's go get the Sylvia The boys are ready Yeet. Yeet. So Dino has decided to sell his car. He just put these sick Yankees back on it. It's pretty much like a rally spec Fiesta so it makes like at least 65 horsepower if you're interested hit me up and uh we can sort you a deal on the absolute fucking skucks mobile here she is looking much better so they basically just smashed the old bonnet back into place, so it's, it's a bit fucked up, but the new bumper looks fucking mint. Very, very nice. Very happy with that. Roof is fucking mint as. They repainted, I'm not sure if they faded it down the sides here or what, but mint drop. Very nice. Alright, finally, back in the Sylvia, oh, feels good, smells like paint, new windscreen, new front bumper, new bonnet on the way, good to go, new spark plugs as well, let's go!
Hey, what's up guys? So it's a few days later now. I uh, had a lot of fun at that car meet. It was kind of weird, like everyone was yeah, had their masks on and shit. And um, yeah, but it was a pretty fun route. We didn't really do any stops along the way, so it was just like one big highway loop. But it was pretty fun. Uh, the battery main power source actually came off like halfway through the drive, so that's why you might have seen my uh, my RPMs were just all over the place. But we all sort of, we sorted that back out now. So. I thought I'd just finish this vlog by just taking you guys around the car and showing you exactly what it is because I've never really, I mean I showed you guys a little bit the first time I got it but I only had it for like three days before um, we crashed it a little bit and had to get it repaired so yeah everything's repaired now super super happy with how it looks but yeah I guess I'll just run you guys through exactly what you know the car is and everything I'm not going to lift the bonnet up because when we were at the car meet I actually lifted it up and I was really struggling to get it back down and I had to kick it back into place which was super awkward and a real hassle and probably not too good for it so yeah so the old bonnet is still on right now waiting on a uh, vented bonnet from Japan which is going to be eight weeks ish um, but yeah the car runs pretty well and it's all driving good so yeah I'll show you guys around it and also what mods I'm planning to do short term and long term cool so this is it it's a 1990 uh, Nissan Silvia S13 or PS13 um, it's got an SR20 debt with the block from an S15 I believe honestly I don't know a ton about these engines but that's what I've been told um, 10 years ago it made 250 kilowatts at 17 psi on a dyno um, obviously that was like 10 years ago so I don't know I'm gonna go get it retuned soon and we'll see how it goes but it's got the brick headlights clear indicators which apparently are quite rare and um, we got a new rocket bunny front bumper which is looking great big intercooler in the front we got some nice rep wheels here which will be going soon but um, they're actually really good and light for drifting so not too ashamed of those right now but yeah I usually wouldn't run reps I just like genuine wheels but um, yeah they're fine for now and they're good for drifting so we'll keep them on there for a bit but yeah the car like structurally it's super super straight there's obviously a few little blemishes here and there um, the interior is completely gutted um, so there's zero carpeting at all there's a little bit of the main dash left over uh, but otherwise the doors are just carbon fiber everything metal in here and it's just the seats um, bolted onto the floor so yeah it's a bit of a rough ride for sure um, but it's pretty fun and it definitely you feel everything you feel the tiniest little stones coming under you but you also have great driver feel um, and this car is like just in terms of steering and handling just super super direct and straight which is really fun I need to get it up into the windy roads while it's still kind of like not slammed heaps because it's I mean it's kind of it's it's pretty nice fitment but it never rubs never ever ever so yeah I'm really looking forward to taking it into the uh, up into the hills one day I can't remember exactly what exhaust this has and I've got the mic pointing towards me right now so you can actually hear me properly because it's a bit windy but yeah I'm not sure exactly what exhaust this is I think it's just like a custom straight pipe with a little cannon on it um, I do have an external wastegate or a, a different wastegate for this that goes straight to atmosphere so I could swap that wastegate out and it would be way louder which I might do I'm gonna test it this is pretty much the only part of the body that's a bit fucked up and that'll only cost I don't know a few hundred bucks to get that all patched up so that's fine um, it's on coils and because everyone has been asking me yes the coils and everything in here is all certed and it's actually set up for like homologated track racing which is kind of the reason I got it like it's you know if I did want to if I do want to go to the track and I do with passengers you do need all this just to get on the track and drive around with your passengers I'm gonna turn this off for a sec I think it was getting a bit hot but yeah you do need that whole setup to uh, go on the track with passengers safely and everything so yeah but pretty happy with how it is you know as I bought it pretty much I don't love the look of these um, s13 stock they definitely need a body kit on them I quite like how it looks when it's rolling actually like from this angle here I think they look quite good but basically my plans for it I'll put some images up on my screen of um, I think it's Randy Trong the guy from Eliminate um, he has an amazing s13 with the big BN sports body kit all aired out 326 power wing some sick wheels so I kind of want to go that style not a hundred percent sure if I'm gonna bag it yet or not um, it's pretty costly um, but yeah definitely some sort of body kit like the BN sports kit 
possibly a 326 power wing. I'm gonna change up the exhaust. I'm thinking about getting some unequal length headers to make it sound really grunty. Um, and the, the first thing I'm gonna be doing is pretty much putting back some of the interior. So right now, yeah, zero carpet in here. I think I'm gonna re-carpet the entire interior as best that I can. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna go about that yet. But yeah, we'll see. Um, but yeah, it's got some nice bits on the inside. It's just got all those gauges there. I would actually prefer having these gauges up here on the dash, or like maybe three or four just in line up there rather than here, because also this car has no stereo and no AC. So I would quite like to reinstall the AC just for the pure purpose of being able to defog this window because it does get a bit foggy sometimes. Um, and I would love to play some beats. So I'm thinking about moving these up here and putting a stereo in here. Probably just putting the stocks around back in. I'm not a huge fan of this carbon fiber one and it's kind of, uh, it's kind of like not too amazing quality. Um, definitely gonna switch out the steering wheel. It's a very nice steering wheel. It drifts very well, but it's Alcantara and it's getting quite old and kind of a bit fucked up, so yeah. Um, also, I want to try, not sure if it's gonna fit with the roll cage, but I wanna try and put the stock door cards back in and just, um, we're gonna pad up a lot of the car because it's very, you know, if a little piece of sand hits the bottom of the car, you hear it and it's super, super loud, quite uncomfortable and just kind of hard to hold a conversation even though there's no music playing and it's not even that loud of a car. Might have to make some adjustments to them, um, but yeah, first mod, is gonna be interior. I wanna get the interior nice and sorted. Um, just so it's a bit better to drive. The harnesses and the racing seats are super, super nice when you actually get going, but they're really annoying to get in and out of. Um, but once you're sat in there, you're good. So yeah, it's really, really comfortable once you're in them. But yeah, overall super fun car to drive. It does need an alignment because it's, um, veering to the left kind of badly. So I'm gonna be going to auto stance very soon to get that done. I also need a good roof wing if anyone has one of those for sale. Cause I bought one from Luxury Sports but it did not fit at all. Which is a shame because the front bumper fits perfectly. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, that's the Sylvia. I think I went into a bit more detail than I did when I first got it. I didn't really tell you guys much about it, like what kind of power it makes. I assume it's making about 200 kilowatts now because it's been 10 years since it was last tuned. And I think it's um, only going to 16 PSI, 15 or 16 PSI, not 17. Um, but yeah, let me know um, down in the comments if you have any more questions. Um, and I can't wait to get into modding this thing. We're gonna be doing it very soon, starting on the interior and uh, kind of just cleaning up the exterior. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in a week or so for the next one. See ya.